Vienna's old center is corralled by its grand circular Ringstrasse. In the 1860s, Emperor Franz Josef had the city's ingrown medieval wall torn down. He replaced it with this impressive boulevard, which arcs nearly three miles around the city's core. One of Europe's great streets, the Ringstrasse, is lined with many of Vienna's top sites. For a handy do-it-yourself budget tour, hop on tram number one and make the loop. In my guidebooks, I like to describe self-guided tours that take advantage of handy public transport routes like this. Because this ring road is actually older than all the buildings that line it, what you see is very neo, neo-Renaissance, neo-Gothic, neo-classical. The choice of style seems to fit the building's function. The Austrian parliament is neo-classical because democracy came from ancient Greece. The city hall is neo-Gothic recalling the age when local merchants ran the government. Museums are neo-Renaissance for a spirit of learning. And Vienna's court theater is neo-Baroque, the age when opera and theater flourished. From the Ringstrasse, an efficient subway system takes us farther afield, like to the beach, the Danube Beach. In the 1970s, Vienna dug a canal parallel to the mighty Danube River, creating both a flood barrier and a much-loved island escape. This skinny, 12-mile-long island provides a natural wonderland. All along this traffic-free, grassy park, you'll find the Viennese at play. For those who can't afford their own cabin or fancy vacation, it's an ideal place for a good old-fashioned barbecue. And the appeal of the ice cream cart is universal. <laughs> 